What's up everybody? This is Nomadix and today I'm coming at you with a Poe deck. So Poe is an interesting leader. His passive is that he gets his airborne support cards are reduced by one. Now you have to read the fine print here guys. It says airborne support cards. Now I was under the impression that it was all support cards. It's not. It's just the airborne support cards. So looking at this deck uh, I'm rocking the T70. I've got the X-Wing as well as the Y-Wing. I'm running Bantha for some shenanigans. I've got BB-8, which is hit or miss. I will say it is pretty sweet if you're able to steal an ATST or something, but you honestly shouldn't ever be able to because the the hack is actually disruptible so it's not like they have to kill it in that time frame and the time that it takes to actually steal an atst is a really long time ion mine is actually not benefited from pose passive so it doesn't count now other cars that do count you could run drop pod uh i don't think that drop pod is better i thought that drop pod would be pretty good with poe because it costs one less but You'd have to run a completely different deck in order to make Drop Pod work. This deck does not work with Drop Pod. Um, also, Hyper Adrenal is not reduced by Poe's passive, and that's worth mentioning because that is a huge, huge deal that it's not. If Hyper Adrenal cost one energy, then Poe's stats wouldn't be that bad. I would honestly run this deck, and I would just Hyper Adrenal myself for one energy, and then I would be about as good as you know any other leader. But Poe does terrible damage. He has really low health. So he he dies really easily. And we'll probably see how that's going to work here in this match. So the idea behind the deck is that I'm going to... I can slow play Bantha. Bantha is also really tanky. So if I have to, then I can throw down a 3600 HP tank in front of my tower. So that I can save my tower. Uh, if... If my support cards aren't doing enough or if I need more time to kill them. Anyways, that's kind of the idea behind the deck. So as far as where I got Poe and BB-8, they actually came up in my season shop. And I got one Poe and I got two of the BB-8s because I hadn't discovered BB-8 yet. So, yeah. And actually now I'm waiting. I still haven't got the... Um, the captain general hux is unique i haven't got him yet so i'm kind of just waiting for him to show up in my shop in order for me to actually get something accomplished here uh that was an interesting place to play that can't say i've ever seen that before um is he really not gonna play anything else oh no well, oh no! Yeah, that's that's kind of the weakness of this deck, is that... I don't know, there's a lot of times where you're like, what am I supposed to be doing here? Dropping bombs on the tower. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. Last thing I want is for him to run in on me. Alright, let's drop... Let's drop this. Drop this. Oh, oh no. Oh, baby. I think that should be good enough. Yeah. I was able to, to thwart that attack, which is good. Okay. So I'm going to continue to aerial support down his tower. As soon as he runs in, I want to get a couple shots on him. Doesn't look like he's going to run in, though. Okay. Okay. If he continues to play this way, that is fine by me, because I've got support cards for days, man. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Let's go. All right, coming in here. Coming in hot. Doing some damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, turn the biscuit. No. Oh, I wasted that. Whoops. Totally meant to do that. 
All right, let's focus him. Oh, get out of there, man. Oh, these poor fellas. They think they can run, but they cannot. Oh, shit. That slipped out of my hand. That is not what I intended to happen there. Okay. So we're rocking the Bantha. He's just dropping all of his clears on me because he knows I don't have anything for him to actually use it on. So if he's ever going to get value from it, it's right now. Oh, baby. Got him. <laughs> so as you can tell, you're basically just staying back and defending and then forcing them to push into you. But all of their support cards are going to be useless. Like, what are they going to... I mean, unless they drop Bomber on me, it's like he has two clears in there that aren't doing him any good. And his units are too squishy to stand up to all of my clears. So... Eh. It's okay. You know, it's an okay deck. We're going to continue to play another one. Fruit Snapper. Now, one of the things that I was thinking about using this deck as was just like rocking a normal deck with like maybe two or three clears. And then, uh, I guess just seeing how having one energy less clears affects your actual deck. But, oh baby, oh baby, please let me steal it. Please let me steal it. Please let me steal it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'm going to get it. Ah, oh, got it. He didn't even notice. He had no idea. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh, it's so good. The juicy steal. The juicy clear. Oh, yeah, that's right. You bomb your own ATST, bro. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. It feels so good to steal an ATST. All right, we're gonna bomb him. We're gonna drop this. We're gonna play this behind. I'm not exactly sure why. We're gonna play this here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Okay, I shouldn't have played, I shouldn't have played my Bantha there. That actually made no sense. I thought I would cycle to BB-8. And turns out BB-8 was really far away. So I wasn't able to cycle to him. Okay, so we're probably going to have to take out this tower as well. Um, again, not exactly sure how I'm going to go about doing it. But, uh, got to do something. Oh, baby. Steal it. Yes! Oh. <laughs> oh, man. This poor guy. This poor guy. Having to clear his own ATST now. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Kill it. Kill it. Yes. Okay. So now I've got two towers, and I'm not exactly sure what to do from here. I guess I'll just play Bantha up front. I mean, he's got to do something about it. Now I can just basically chill. He's got 10 seconds to come in on me, and there's no way I'm going to let him do that. Play BB-8 over here. Let's drop Bomber. Oh, oh man. Freaking Poe. BB-8 is, like, surprisingly good at times. If you're able to get him off. I think most people don't really expect him. They're not used to it. But he is really, really easy to stop. Like, if he would have just dropped Bomber on the ATST, it would have been fun. <sighs> okay. All right, let's let's jump into one more. It's uh, 
it's kind of a fun troll troll ass deck let's be real you're not gonna get any like whenever you win you may not feel that good about it because all you did was bomb down his tower you didn't actually do anything <laughs> uh okay so I'm playing against a general grievous mm. I'm not sure that I have the firepower to stop a General Grievous. I do have all the clears you could ever possibly want, but... I guess the good thing is that he is tech, so maybe, just maybe, I can steal some shit. Okay, let's take those out. Let's play BB-8 here. Let's Ion Mine. Let's draw Bomber. I have to come over here now, unfortunately. Gotta clear these out. Can't let that get to my turret. Okay. Drop an eye on mine. Oh, he's not getting away. Beam. So he had to waste his, uh, his dwarf spider there, which is really good for me. Now he doesn't have that as a support, and I can just Bantha in the back, I think. Should be fine. So the idea, again, is just you're playing slow, you're dropping whenever you can, you're dropping cards on his tower. Okay. So... Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Dropping Bantha over here. Well, you were supposed to soak up that damage, Bantha. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, get it. Man, he does, like, zero damage. Like, legitimately does zero. Oh, steal it. Steal that spider, baby. Steal that spider. Got it. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. That is a negatory. Not letting that come in on me. Alright, I guess I could draw a bomber there, take out that tower, and play this over here, and play this over here. We're gonna BB-8 to steal this, I think. Oh, it does shut it down. Oh, okay. You see, I actually thought that ATST and stuff still shot. But it looked like just then that it actually deactivated the spider. Did y'all see that? I'm pretty sure it does deactivate. Let's look at the fine print again. Let's look at the fine print again. Okay. Attacks nearby enemy units using his electricity and attempts to hack and convert them. If they are tech units, the bigger the tech unit is, the more time it takes to hack them. Deploy units in front to shield BB-8 as he attempts to hack the enemy. So does BB-8 actually deactivate? I think we're going to have to go back for the replay here. Let's watch to see if this ATST actually stopped shooting. Because I wasn't paying attention mid-match, but I do want to know now. Because that's a huge deal if it actually shuts them down as well. Alright, just speeding it up. Again, we're at pretty much our max length of the video. So, um... Okay, where's that ATST? Uh, no, that's not it. Okay, doesn't he ATST? Pretty sure he does. Okay. Maybe it wasn't this game. Maybe it was the other game. Damn it. I picked the wrong game. Alright. Sorry, guys. This one. Okay, come on. Come on. I'm not trying to rewatch the game. That's boring. I do. I just 